Mm. I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's absolutely delicious. Hey friends, welcome back to another edition of ABR. Greg Hudson hanging out with you once again. And I wanna welcome you to Central City, Kentucky. We're gonna have some stuff today that, well, I never thought I would get here. We're talking about an eight pound pizza. Let that sink in, eight pounds in a pizza. And not only that, apparently they're serving up something called the Freak Shake. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. I don't know how to feel, but we're gonna try it all right now at Stellions. Scott, how are you, man? I'm doing fine, and you? Doing very well great, now. Great, great to great see you, brother. You. Yes. What a cute Welcome. little town you've got here. Thank you. Just Thank a nice, you. quaint little town. little town. You should be. Yeah. You absolutely. should be. And how long have you guys been here then? We've been here since uh, 2011. All right. So you got some, some uh, years under you there. Yes. Uh -huh. So, all right, listen, done the homework, right? All I keep hearing about are eight pound pizzas and like freaky shakes or something. Yeah, that's, absolutely. That, that's. Oh. You look at the internet, you look up stellions, that's what you're going to see right away. We're going to fix you up with that too. I, see, I like that. I know I'm in the heart of Kentucky. We're going to fix you up. That's right. Absolutely. Well, what do we get to first, man? What are we well, going to try? I got some freak shakes sitting right here. Let's go. Strawberry cheesecake food. <laughs> Hold on a second. Is it? There's really a whole slice of cheesecake on this milkshake. This is incredible. You gonna have one with me? Yeah, well, I've got a peanut butter s'more yeah. here. So you got an eight pound pizza and a five pound milkshake. Pretty That's close what this feels like. It's pretty close to that. Where do you start with these, man? Where do we start? Where do I it? start? Do I, do, I, do I use the straw? I mean, no, you probably want to use a spoon. They have Japanese pocky sticks in these milkshakes. Heart of Kentucky, Japanese pocky sticks. I like you already. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start with this spoon. Ooh, this is crazy. Who came up with this? Well, that would be my wife, Belinda. She said, let's just make some ridiculous milkshakes. I'll tell you what, though. These are very Instagrammable. These are made for the internet, and they taste delicious. That's fantastic. Oh, thank you. I see that, too. You got a little crust around here. There's, like, the cheesecake crust along the side, too. I mean, they, you guys did not miss one detail on these. Well, we tried not to. So what did, what did the town say? How did they react when you start putting these things out? Were they popular? Did it take a while to get used to? They they blew up quickly. Really? With the night that we introduced this out, it, after that, the very next day, it was it was Katie bar the door. We were busy as all we could be. I bet. I mean, because all you got to do is put this on your Facebook page, and there's gonna be a line out that door. Especially, can you imagine summertime? Nice, quaint little town like this. You're doing some shopping downtown. One of these in that summer heat. This is perfect. Yeah. So right away from the from the get go, these have been popular here. Yes. You guys, how many of these do you make a week? Do you even know? We've done 253, I believe, in a day. In a day? In a day. Oh my God. That, that's wild. That's, I mean, I don't know if you're a restaurant or a milkshake shop, brother. Well, that's crazy. we're in the service, that's for sure. Well, I'm gonna see what I can do, put a little dent in this, but I should probably be careful because apparently, we. Are we really going to have an eight pound pizza today? You really are. <laughs> okay. You really are. Well, this will be my last bite and then I'm going to head to the kitchen and see what this eight pound pizza is all Sounds about. Sounds good. That's damn good cheesecake. Back in the kitchen now, I had to find out about this eight pound pizza that they're making right here. This is Debbie, the manager, by the way. So an eight pound pizza. Yes. I guess we better get started. Just sounds like it could take a while. Uh, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Got? All right. Fresh, fresh dough. Fresh dough. And there is a lot of dough in here. Okay, we'll start off. By... That's massive. Shit, that alone looks like it weighs half of the eight pounds. Oh my gosh. How much easier does that make life? 
rather than having to sit there and push yeah. and roll and fold. And just like that, we're ready to go. So which pizza are we gonna be making today, Debbie? We're gonna do the works. The works. Oh, don't be afraid to put me to work here okay. too. <laughs> All right. So what are we doing here? We'll start off with cheese, three okay. cups. Three cups? On the bottom. <laughs> is this just mozzarella then, or yeah, is it a blend? Yeah, it's just mozzarella. Okay. Okay, and then we'll start with the toppings, which is four scoops. Four scoops of uh, sausage? sausage. I see a couple of different sausages here. Are they? Uh, this is beef. Oh, that's beef sausage. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna put that on there too. Why not? <laughs> it is the works after all. <laughs> this is absurd in the best way possible. Okay, and then all we'll this move stuff? down to the same thing, like four scoops of black olives. <laughs> Debbie, how many of these you make a day? Probably about 30, 40. A day? Pretty much. And you, well, you guys, weekends. So a lot of times when we go to places and they have, you know, things like an eight pound pizza, people take it as a challenge. Do you guys do this like as a challenge for folks or? Yes, they do. Do people try to eat the whole thing? Yeah, they have. <laughs> they have? They've tried. They've tried. They have Can you imagine? I want you to think about that for a second. Imagine in a matter of, let's call it 45 minutes or an hour, gaining eight pounds on your body. That's what this does if you take that challenge. Wow. This is just like a pizza bowl now. Yeah, one big, big pie. So we've got all the fixings in there so yeah. far. We got more? Yeah, we got more. Then some pepperoni on it. Oh, I love pepperoncinis. Holy, I mean, you are not skimping on any of this stuff. <laughs> Look we go at back. this pizza. Back with more cheese. And more cheese, because we didn't put enough the first time. <laughs> Are you doing four more scoops? No, just we do two on the top. Oh, just two. Just two. <laughs> then we go back. Oh, are we saucing this bad boy at all? No, not right now. Not right. No. But at some point, we're going to add some yeah, sauce. Yeah, we will add sauce to it. Yes. This is crazy. Why are you getting out? Are we making two of them? Yeah, this goes on top. Did you say this goes on top of this? It goes on top, yes. I do not know what we got ourselves <laughs> into today, folks. I really, really don't. So, okay, we'll put the top on, and then after that, we're gonna start, we're gonna put it in the oven, right? We're gonna roll it. Roll it up and then put it in the oven? oven? Yes. Okay. How long is this gonna take to cook? We run it through this oven for about seven minutes, bring it back out, we'll put the sauce on it, and put it in the oven. In total? Cheese. So we're looking at about 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. Okay, yes. we're gonna get this thing in the oven and then we'll see you in 45 minutes and hopefully a big appetite. So as you can see, the pizza's ready. We've got a few extra things with us. And here's the big kicker. We have coaxed Belinda, Scott's wife, out to the dining room to hang out with us. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you did that. Thanks for coming out. So, <laughs> you, I don't know where to begin here. So first I wanna talk, we're gonna to get to this, don't worry. But the mushrooms, I heard about these, but you are actually hand breading your own mushrooms here? Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of these things. When have you ever had a deep fried mushroom that looks like it's a softball? This thing is bad, it's massive. All right, I'm gonna try this. So, the eight pound pizza, where does this come from? And how popular is it? It's very popular. Um, we really don't know why we came up with it. Uh, at the time when we did, we didn't think we would ever have to explain why we did. <laughs> You're like, let's make an eight pound pizza. pizza. Yep. But then you, like, it just became a blur. And now, I mean, this has to be one of them. I mean, it's all over your signage, it's everywhere. This must be a novelty for folks. Have you had anybody come in and eat the whole thing? Yes. One time. Once. One time. Tell me this guy was a competitive eater or something. Yes. Had to be. A professional eater. Yes, he was. Well, it's not going to eat itself. So let's get in here. And as we're doing this, oh, wait, hold on. Time out for the cheese pull. Oh, it's one of the most satisfying things in the world, isn't it? A good cheese pull. So if you would, Scott, tell me about the name. S Stellions. Stellions, uh-huh. Is that, was it that when you got the place? Did you come up with it on your own? No, it, uh, 
when we got the place, it was a running business, but we we closed it for to do rehab and we did a, a remake, a remodel, and, and a rename. The name is actually uh, named after my dad. Uh, his name is uh, Stellion Virgil, and so Stellions is where it came from. That's such a cool name. What do you that, is it your dad's name was Stellion? Stellion. What uh -huh. a unique name, man. That's excellent. But you guys are just so creative with the dishes you're putting together. Like the milkshake we tried when I first walked into the place. Are, are you natural foodies? Have you been in this industry for a while? It's just, you just don't come to Kentucky and expect to get what we're getting here. What, well, where would all this food knowledge and process come from? We got our start. Our children were in the local high school marching band. And the marching band had a 36 foot gooseneck trailer that they called a food wagon. <laughs> okay. And ever field show that they would go to, the band director wanted those children to eat. Sure. So we fed them sometimes three meals on the weekend, on Saturday, from that wagon. And we would make homemade chili, homemade chicken noodle soup. Uh, I mean, we had a spread. I mean, like six sure. or eight tables spread out and and uh, that's like a little mini so restaurant itself. We that's kind of where we got our desire. Or let me let me rephrase that. That's where I got my desire uh, to to do. Uh, she came on board though, but it, <laughs> she she wasn't really fond at first. But, uh, uh, but that's so crazy that you started by making food for this high school band on the weekends. Right. And then now you've turned it into this. That's incredible. Well, uh, the customers is what's turned it into this. Uh, without the customers, we wouldn't grow. And, and we, we've been blessed. The Lord's blessed as well. And it, I, I would imagine if I were to go walk around town and mention stellions, everybody would know exactly what I was talking about. I would think so. Right? Okay, now we're gonna talk about the pizza. I gotta give you a big compliment here. Cause I know for a fact that there are basically two rounds of dough in this thing. Mm -hmm. You use two actual giant pieces of dough. However, I so I expected it to be very doughy. You get every bit of topping in this. This doesn't taste like just a bunch of dough. Like a Detroit style has a big thick dough. This Chicago style, you, man, you really, I mean, we mentioned it back there, but tasting it, you really don't skimp on those ingredients. Like, I don't taste, this tastes like the crust is very, very thin. This is excellent. Well, thank you. you I mean, these must get ordered all the time, right? Yes. Mm. I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's absolutely delicious. And so with Stellions, is this a different concept than you've had in the past? Yes. We, we've had, at one time, we had seven different locations, different concepts. So not stellions, but seven different types of- Correct. Of restaurants. Right. Um, I'm not sure how we could do that, but we did it. Man. And, um, but we're down to two now. We, we have stellions and then we have a, a little burger place. Okay, great. And Belinda, you know, I've heard you gush over the staff here, so. And I want to see that personality light up because I just, when you talk about the staff here, you just really light up. Like you're the mama bear, it sounds like. They're all shaking their heads, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, most of uh, our employees have been at least five to 13 years. Wow. Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. And so that's the thing. I want you to pay attention to that because when you hear a restaurant owner mention that they have staff that have been with them for that long, especially when you consider the COVID era and everything we've been through, that tells us this is a very well-run and well-managed restaurant because it's all about your people. If you don't have the staff here, it doesn't matter what kind of food you're making. So to keep people for that long, that's incredible. Is it like a family to you here, would you say? A lot of them are family. Uh, well, they are. So, some kind of family. Uh, well, actually they are my family. Uh, I feel like they're my kids. Some uh -huh. of them actually started as kids. And, um, still here with you. Still here with us. Yes. Yeah. And that's what I'm talking about. That's that's why you kind of feel like the mama bear here, man. And with these with with your menu items, where like do you do you guys come up with some of this stuff, or are there new menu items coming out? This is just such a unique place to have the milkshakes that you have, the pizzas that you have. Do you guys discuss those things about hey, what can we do that's going to be big and bold? You know, 
as much as I'd like to take a little credit on that, I can't. Okay. It, it's all her. And between her and my nephew, uh, they, yeah. they do a great job on With that creativity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I've heard that you are Miss Milkshake around here. This was That was your your creation, the, that, the milkshakes. It was. it was. The freak shakes, if you will. That was my desire. My dream was to have them. So. They're just so well put together. Was that something you maybe saw online and said, hey, I want to try that? Or yes. uh, you did? Yes. Do you have a favorite? Um, probably cheese, the cheesecake. That's the one I had. Yes. I had the cheesecake. Yes. Oh my gosh, it was incredible. It comes with the actual cheesecake on top, which you saw a little bit earlier. But well, listen, I got to thank you guys for having us here today. I mean, this is not what I expected to walk into. And man, we have just been pleasantly surprised from this. Everybody in the staff is so welcoming and nice. And the creative food that you guys are pumping out, just next level. Really great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. You know, Central City's motto is, it's the place where the music never stops. And after this, let's hope the pizza never stops either, because this is a place that I know Scott's Dad Stellion would be very proud of. We'll see you next time on America's Best Restaurant.